Here we are in Minnesota for this NFC matchup between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Minnesota Vikings. This is a game today that could come down to the two running backs, two of the real stars of the sport, two players who went in fantasy drafts really high. How do you see this one going down today? Yeah, and how's your fantasy team? Well, yeah, 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 yeah no, we won't talk that. about that. Yeah. Let's talk about good things. But, you know, these, hey, these two teams are stars. You know why? Because we can see how the football team is built. And I think there's no doubt about it. The offensive line is a big part of it. They always have hope that they block their guy a little bit these running backs can make a big play out of it. and it's first down. They go counter, searching for space to the right, and he's going to be tackled right around the 31-yard line. It's a mindset. It's a culture. That's what you've got to create when you talk about running the football, and when you get it going the right way, you can grind a defense up. Another first down for this offense running the football. Jackson's lined up now as a slot receiver. Breaks free. That'll be another new set of downs after that pickup for a first. Well, you work all week long on a game plan if you're the offensive coordinator, and you come right out, and it works. Yeah, it gives you a lot of confidence, does it? It makes the offensive players, they feel good about what's going on, and it gives confidence to that play caller. That's just as important. First and ten. Throws to the right. What a hit, and the ball is dropped. Good job that time, Jim, by the defender. He hit that receiver so hard, that football came flying out. That's why it's incomplete, the big hit by the defender. Jackson's lined up in the slot. Second and ten. Challenging the defenders to the right side, and he's tackled at the 32-yard line. What a way to start the game on offense. Picking up another first down for them. They are in rhythm, and now no matter what they call, they're going to feel like they're going to make it happen. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Gets away from the pressure. Vix looking long. Incomplete, almost intercepted. They went for the deep throw, but the defensive back was there. Yeah, good job that time. I got to give the defensive back a lot of credit. He was not caught sleeping out there. He was alert, read the right keys, and he was right with the receiver to knock down that deep throw. Jackson's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Second down and 10. He'll fire it out to the left. Makes the catch in the open field, bringing the play to an end. What a nice catch by the receiver. Get past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets the first down. Play number six coming up on this drive. First and ten, LaShawn McCoy takes the handoff. Game of six. Closer defense gets to the end zone. Their backs are against it. The tougher they get. But that time, the offense still able to pick up a few yards on an inside run. Vic in shotgun formation. Escaping the pressure. Ball is out. This one's going back the other way. He's got room. He steps out. The defense comes up with the big play. The hit and the recovery of the football. 
Yeah, they sure did. They got... So much speed on the defensive side, and that speed, when you think about it, it gets more people around the football. It helps you deliver the hit even harder, and that's why they got the turnover. Great job. Patterson's a receiver in the slot. First and ten. Peterson's going to take the handoff now. Gain of eight. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are and we're just going to come right at you. Adrian Peterson is in the backfield. Second and two. Trying the right side. Good run that time. It results in a first down, and it moves those chains on the sideline. Keep those chains moving. Tire that defense out. Patterson's in the slot. The wide receiver in motion. First and ten. Peterson's going to secure the handoff. Spins away from the tackle. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Second down after going to the ground game the first play. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. It was right there, but he didn't bring it in. Look the football in. With the gloves these receivers wear, the rules that you can't touch them, there's no excuse for dropping the football. Third down following the incompletion. Ball is snapped, and the quarterback tosses it to the outside. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. They're in punting formation. Waves his arm, and he's going to make a fair catch. Jackson's lined up now as a slot receiver. The quarterback motions the wide receiver. First and ten. Here's the give to LaShawn McCoy. Well, when you talk about edge players in the NFL, it means play on the edge, rush the quarterback, and stop the outside runs. How about that play by the defensive end? There's some shifting around in the backfield. Second and 11. The throw to the left. That catch, good for a first down. When the defense is going to play safe, and they don't want you to run by them, you've got to be able to throw these out routes where the receiver's cutting towards the sideline and the quarterback stick it in there. This play set up by the long gainer as they go ground here. Touchdown! What a run! You don't see a lot of them anymore because we have so many good tackling safeties in the NFL, but not this time. That long run goes for a touchdown. It was about the moves and the blocks down the field. Terrific job by the offense. Everyone's lined up for this kickoff. He will run this one back. 
tackled right at about the 28-yard line. And that will close out the first quarter in Minneapolis. Minnesota will return in just a moment. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And Jennings lined up in the slot. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. The quarterback will hand it off. Nice job that time. The run play gets the first down. You move those chains. Hey, it's kind of fun to watch a team tough enough and patient enough to run the football to get these first downs instead of throwing it all the time. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Back to the ground, they tackle him for a loss. So many things you can do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. Second down following the run. Throws the pass. Gain of seven. Good job by the quarterback that time. Makes the decision. Throws it short. It does not get the first down. But I promise you, third and short is a lot easier than having third and long. This is third down. Taken down. This defense you're playing against, they're pretty good. So it's fourth down near midfield. Punt the football. Peterson's lined up in a single back formation. Working that left side. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. Well, it's always about risk and reward. It is a risk to go for it on fourth down. When you pick it up, you feel like a genius. Coach. First and ten. And they bring him down at the 44-yard line. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're a running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running them. About midway, second quarter, he'll take the snap. He's brought down at the 30-yard line. That's where you need the big size on your defense. You need it inside. In other words, you need big defensive linemen that can cover the center and the guards to stop these runs right up the middle. First down and ten. Screen brings it in. Games 14. This is turning into quite a drive, Phil. Uh, nice job, Jim, by the offensive coordinator, just mixing the plays up and keeping the defense off balance. And we've reached the two-minute warning in this one. And Jennings going to get set in the slot for this snap. Adrian Peterson takes the football. That was a nice play call by the offensive coordinator. Running the football in the red zone, and he picked up some good yards. The long drive continues.
drop back. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Good play call that time by the offensive coordinator. Down inside, when you're inside that 20-yard line or the red zone, find ways to complete the pass. They did that time. Heading to the line for the 11th play of the drive. First and goal. Here's the handoff to Adrian Peterson. This is where on a defensive side, where you have the lead, the team's driving against you, call something different so you can come up with a big play and stop the offense. Marching down the field and taking their time. Second and goal from the four. And he's thrown to the ground. Quarterback's got to know when it's inside of two minutes and that clock is moving, you want to get the football down the field and out of bounds. Holds on to the football too long, gets the sack, and that just kills uh, the time management. This has been a long drive so far. Third and goal from the nine, Peterson. And runs it across for the touchdown. Well, the defense knew that they were probably going to see a run here in third and goal. And what do they do? They don't, it doesn't matter. They still get blown off the line of scrimmage by the offensive line. Nice job. The Vikings will tie it up with this extra point. And the point after is good. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. First and ten. McCoy trying to find an opening to the right. That tackle was made at the 27-yard line. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Coming up, second down. Trying to plow ahead. The Eagles signal for the timeout, and they have none remaining. This will be the last play before halftime. Third and three. Up the middle. Running a little college-like option. And that will close out the first half from the Twin Cities. We'll step away for halftime and be back to Minneapolis in just a moment for the beginning of the third quarter. Eagles getting set for the kickoff. He's got a chance to return this one. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down.
and Jennings, a receiver in the slot. First and ten. Peterson's got it on the handoff. Tackle at the 29-yard line. In this defense, they are tough. When you run that football, they got some men up front. And that time they stopped their run just for a short game. Castle's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Interception. He stacked up at that point. Most NFL linebackers, they're borderline good enough to be a running back. And they got the hands of defensive backs. Here's a good case. What a fine catch on the interception by the linebacker. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. Now first and ten. Interception. The defense accepts the penalty. Linebackers nowadays are so talented. They can just do everything. Uh, they're strong enough to stop the run, but how about this interception? Good job, good reading of the quarterback, and a nice catch. Offense lines up here. First and 10. Peterson's taking the handoff. And he's brought to the ground. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this, over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. And Jennings in the slot. Just a quick drop back. Catch is made. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down, keep those chains moving, give yourself three more opportunities. Simpsons lined up now as a slot receiver. The wide receiver shifting around in motion. The play clock's running down. Adrian Peterson takes the football. Holds him to seven. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Second down now. There's a flag throw. Greg Jennings with the grab. He'll decline the penalty and let the play stand. Good job on that touchdown. That puts him ahead. And it's always, of course, better to be ahead than behind. He made it. Vikings getting ready to kick it away. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. The defense comes out of the nickel. McCoy is handed the football. 
And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. McCoy's out in the slot. Second and 11. And a run right up the middle. Third down on the way. They motioned the receiver around to the other side. Fix back in shotgun formation. Looking across the middle, McCoy's there with the sure hands to pull in the rocket pass. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is, I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. Here's the first snap after the big play. Ball's going to be incomplete. The hit knocked the ball out. Well, it's so hard to do this nowadays to jar the football out of the hands of the receiver. But the defender did it that time. He hit him. That football came loose. Incomplete pass. Browns lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. He'll fire it out to the left. Good job by the play caller that time. Calling for the short pass. Even though it comes up short of the first down, it opens up many things that you can do on third. You can run a reverse, draw plays, screen plays, or if you want, you can still throw it down the field. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. Third and three. Brown's going to take the handoff now. He's got some daylight. He gets into the end zone, capping off the long run. Well, that score ties the game up. Now on the defensive side, you've got to come out there and take advantage of this this feeling you got going now and get the football back for your offense. The Eagles for the extra point. And it's a fake. And so they convert it here on the two-point try. The Vikings are ready to return the kickoff. They're setting up return. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. Adrian Peterson is in the backfield. First and 10. Here's the handoff to Adrian Peterson, brought down at the 29. When you have a defense, it's not playing good techniques. They're selling out, overplaying plays while you run the counter runs to counteract what they're doing on the defensive side. They come out in the dime package. Second and five, Peterson. They break through, tackle him behind the line. Well, that time the defense gets the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. And listen, I blame this one on the quarterback. When you see the defense in a situation like that, you must change the play. Don't waste one in the NFL. You don't get enough chances as it is, and that one lost yards. Third down and five. Looking for an open receiver on the right. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. I like this. Show some patience. Don't try to get it all one play. Pick up first downs and try to go down the field and score. Setting up in the pistol on this play. First and 10, Peterson's going to secure the handoff. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. 
now the defense is in a good situation. And kind of the shotgun. Throwing now to his left. Oh, almost caught. The defense has really done a good job here in this drive. They got this offense in a third and long situation. Let's see if they can convert it. Peterson's lined up directly behind the quarterback here. Adrian Peterson takes the football. And they're going to run it right. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. All set to punt here. And that will close out quarter number three in Minneapolis and will return in just a moment. The Eagles sat at the line, dime package. He'll take the snap, the first here in the fourth quarter. They fail to convert here on fourth down. Situations like this sometimes can cost you the game. You're down in the second half. Why would you go for it on fourth down in this situation? You don't get it, that decision might cost you this football game. down as they head to the line running to the right good piece of tackling good job by the offense picking up a first down there they've been terrific all day long they're winning the football game and they are tiring this defense out here they come back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play The wide receiver in motion. First and ten. Brown's got it on the handoff. Gains 17. First down by the offense inside the red zone. Can the defense show them something different here and keep them from scoring a touchdown? defense is ready to plug up the middle here on the goal line the Eagles will use a timeout here they'll talk it over before running a play on first down Defense loading up on the line, getting set for this snap. First and goal. Brown's taking the handoff. And he's in for the touchdown. That was just an awful job, wasn't it, by the defense? I mean, it's first and goal. Well, you know it's going to be a run, or I think you should be playing run. The defense not ready. They get overpowered, and they give up the running touchdown. Count it. Eagles getting set for the kickoff. They're setting up the return. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line.
and Jennings lined up in the slot. First and ten. He's going to the left. Throws the stiff arm. Nice piece of running by Adrian Peterson. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field, and my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, Green, no doubt about Green, it. 90. That makes everybody Green, nervous. The quarterback motions the wide receiver. First to ten. Here's the handoff to Adrian Peterson. Good job by the offense getting in the red zone. Now you're down some points. you got to find a way to score a touchdown. The jumbo set on the field. Second down and four. Touchdown. And this game just got a whole lot more interesting. What a good job by the offense driving down and getting that touchdown. Even though they're still behind, they're chipping away at this lead, keeping the pressure on their opponents. They'll get set, looking to convert on this two-point try. The formation here, shotgun. Down, touchdown, and a two-point conversion on that occasion. Yeah, good job by the offense. They executed the play perfectly, and they got it in the end zone, like you said, and got that two points. And it's the same as a touchback as he's tackled right at the 20. First down. And he's going to pitch it here. They've got him down there. That was a running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Second and six. Going across the middle on the money. The quarterback see cover four. Four defensive backs playing back against the deep passes. They know they're going to look for underneath or crossing routes. That time, a good throw by the quarterback to the receiver going across the field. Trying to make something happen. Looking to the right side and throwing. Secures it with two hands. And he is brought down at the 45-yard line. Sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line. And sometimes it's just bad defense. They can't get to the quarterback, and that's another completion. Michael Vick will take it from the gun. Trying to work that left side. That ball has been picked off. That interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results, usually it's going to turn into an interception. Time is running out. The game is tied. And the defense must do whatever it can to not give up a score. First and ten, Peterson. They bring him down in the middle of the field at the 50. When you talk about cattle runs, what we just saw that time, the defense thinks the play's going one way, then a pulling guard or tackle comes around and catches a defensive lineman off guard. It makes a good block. Danielle's got an injury update for us. Let's go to her now. Guys, I just spoke with a Vikings official. The injury appears to be minor, so the trainers are just looking him over one last time, and then he'll get back on the field. Adrian Peterson is in the backfield. The wide receiver shifting around in motion. Second and five. Peterson's handed the football. 
going to be a tackle for a loss. That time, I got to blame the running back. Uh, he made a bad read. His vision was terrible. He makes the wrong decision, and it costs his team yards lost. The defense comes out of the dime. Throws to the right. Makes the catch in open space. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. I think you can just tell by the body language and the way he's acting, that is an upper body injury. Hope it's not severe. We'll let you know as soon as we find out. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Peterson's going to take the handoff now. He's got some daylight. What a run by Peterson. The Eagles call a timeout and are left now with only one. First down oh, here no, after the run. Takes the knee. This would be second down. Move 45. Move 45. Takes the knee. The Eagles call a timeout here. They have zero timeouts remaining. Well, we're anxious to hear the full story on that injury. Let's go down to Danielle Bellini with the story. Guys, I just spoke with a Vikings official. Sounds like it's just a minor issue, and he'll be back on the field shortly. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Third and a long way to go. And he gains maybe three. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. Probably locks this one up, Phil. Yeah, locks it up. And it was, it, listen, it was a hard fall game, a lot of fun to watch. And that field goal, listen, that was a tough drive. And I, I don't know, I didn't feel easy about sending the, the field goal kicker out to make it. The coach made the decision, and it worked out in his favor. That kick came right at him, and it looks like the receiving team has recovered. This was a good game to watch today, competitive all the way to the end. 